Mexico. Uh, it's already made landfall, but it's heading through South Carolina, promising to be windy and rainy. So hang tight. We're going to weather this one too. <laughs> finished setting up camp got it set up got the storm going to be rolling through a little later on this afternoon not really sure what time frame it's supposed to hit us it's real cloudy and overcast right now um, breezy ought to be comfortable temperature wise but it's going to be a lot of rain from what we're understanding through tonight all the way through tomorrow uh, storms coming out of the Gulf moving its way up of course you know me love my nasty weather ready to go play but I'm pretty well set up and as you can see the space that I have I got two Adirondacks fireplaces are fire pits right behind you uh, pretty well protected I got the turd set up uh, I'm ready to roll uh, the other day I went over to a friend's house and uh, we were hanging out and uh, next thing we know, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 5, 5.30 in the morning. And I still hadn't recovered, so I'm going to be ready for uh, an early night tonight. Uh, contemplating going and get something to, uh, you know, something that I can cook over the fire. Uh, something quick, simple. But I'll check back. But it ought to be a good one. Another test night in the hammock lab. So I'll check back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, checking back, getting about bedtime. Had a couple bands of rain come through. Uh, probably expecting the heaviest stuff to start hitting. Probably later, later on this evening, early in the morning. Uh, but it's supposed to be like a, a doozy. Some parts of the state are going to get five inches, five, four, five, six inches of rain. Don't know exactly what that plays out for us, but uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to try it. Worst case scenario, I'm in the lab. Things go south, I can head into the house. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. And then we'll see what, uh, see what it's looking like first thing in the morning. Y'all have a good evening. Now I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I don't even know what time it is, I just got up. Started about, I don't even know what time, about 4, maybe 5 this morning. Maybe a little bit earlier. It's kind of drizzling a little bit beforehand, but then, uh, yeah, it's a steady rain, and then, you know, I'm assuming we're going to get heavier rain as the day goes on. It was fun. I was dry. It was breezy off and on throughout the night. Not bad. Comfortable. I actually had to use a blanket. Uh, pretty doggone comfortable. Good night's sleep. Fire pit soaked. So I can't, uh, I can't even if I wanted to, to uh, start a fire. So. I'm going to head on into the house and fix me some coffee. I'll come back out a little bit later on, just check on things. Uh, give you kind of walk around and set up, 
hopefully by that time we'll have a little bit more light to work with uh, so you can see what, what you know, how the setup works. So I'll check back with you in just a little bit. Y'all have a good one. Well, as you can tell, the rain's definitely settled in at this point. It's, it's a good meeting, hard rain. We had a hurt, uh, tornado warning this morning for about 8.30. I woke up about 8 o'clock. Didn't know about it until I got inside of my phone. The hand issue, three issues, another one uh, here recently. Uh, so, weather's progressing right now. As far as the setup, the setup is holding tight. Uh, not a lot of wind does it yet, but a lot of rain. Uh, a lot of water, a lot of water going everywhere. Over here, pretty dry. There is a little water running through, you know, underneath, around the edges, but not so bad. Uh, the drip lines are working, water's coming down the suspension strap, hitting the cinch buckle, and where I've got my half hitch tied, water's dripping off, not hitting the hammock. The drip lines on the uh, coffin cell doing fine. I want to uh, go to walk around. On this uh, on the tarp kind of video, I did modify my setup from the flying lean to more to the traditional A frame. Got this slope back, got quartz mode front, and then I slope the sides, the water drainage off the tarp. There's a little pooling, not a whole lot. In most cases, the water's running. And I'll show you that real quick. As you can see, right here, it's coming off the center of the tarp and running off the edge. Same thing over here on the other side. Uh, tarp setup is actually, I like it. It gives me a lot of dry space in here to work. Now, if I were in a scenario where I had my camp stoves and stuff, I still have dry space to be able to cook, do my thing. Uh, couldn't use my fire pit last, uh, last night. By the time I was getting ready to start, I think about dinner, you know, the rain started rolling in. We started getting a, it, it just didn't work, so I, I opted for something else. Uh, but in, in a camping scenario, you know, I would have had my camp stuff. You know, even if you had the big Coleman camp stoves, uh, you know, you can still cook in here without any problem doing your thing. Now, one thing I did do a little differently was knew there was a chance of rain, uh, blowing rain, you know, last night. So what I did was I tightened up my tree straps a little bit, raised my hammock, and got myself up in the eave a little bit more. That protects me against blowing rain. Uh, really no effect. And it sounds like right now the rain's starting to let off for a little bit. Uh, probably going to kick back in. So this is one of those cells kind of coming through. Um, but all in all, yeah, I mean, it. <laughs> play with your gear. Figure out what's going to work. How you're going to work with your gear. Uh, just make sure that, you know, when you go out, you know, the biggest mistake is to get brand new gear, have no clue how to set it up, and then take off and get in the middle of somewhere. And if there's difficulties, you haven't worked out those bugs, it's a lot, you know, it's a do or die right there. You know, in this scenario, say something wasn't working out, ah, screw it, go in the house. Okay, wait till everything dries out, try it again, you know. Uh, but in a, I'm out in the field, you know, hopefully you've had the experience of working with your gear so that when you set up, you're not uh, causing yourself any problems. So with that, storm night, yay, big thumbs up, had fun. Uh, they kick back, take, you know, wait, you know, I'm going to check and see what these uh, tornado warnings are all about. Uh, when those kind of let up, I may sneak back out here and take an afternoon nap. So until next time, you have a great time.